Hello everyone, Strategic Sage here with more AI War 2 Necromancer. As we mentioned, we do want to try to break through the Custodian Blockade in Sutra. And they have 11 enclaves in there, unfortunately. I was hoping for single digits. Quite a few ships. So I'm a little hesitant about it, but there is only one Elderling. And if we can hit it before others come in, maybe we can do this. Then Strahari has a Wormhole Borer. And I would like to stop that as well. But obviously, Sutra has to fall first. So everybody in. And we have... Okay. There's an Enclave right over there. Let's make that go away. Well, it's going to go away on its own. Apparently, it's running. Let's hit this really quick. The mass driver that's sitting here. Okay. Now we're getting some more Enclaves to come at us. Let's meet them. That one's down. Here's another. The AI is targeting a critical and there's at least a couple more around, so... Overall, the fight's looking okay. Yeah, some really badly damaged ones in here. We just got rid of a bunch of them there at once. Excellent. Okay, what do they have left? Only one. The one on that side. Huh. And we have some Castilians of our own in here. Okay, I'm going to bring in my flagship. Go after this Nether Drake Elderling. go. Well, maybe I am, because they're sitting there on that side. Are you going to come in? Yeah, it looks like you're coming all the way over here now. Let's break off that attack and hit you then. Okay, Let's see if we can get you before you run. Think we got ya? Yeah. There's one more over there. That's the only one, though. Okay. How about we hit this elderly then? Looking pretty good, though. We've got our wild hives in. Generally, whenever the allies really come in in force, it's going to be a good sign for us. Okay. Everybody on pursuit. Smash whatever is left. And of course, even the ships that aren't Enclave, still good to cut down their numbers. the ones that are high mark. Some Templar as well. And there's a low level castle. But it would appear that we have broken now the worst of the resistance. They still could have they could be retreating to a better place to defend but I'm optimistic. Okay, let's get in, then, to Srihari. And see about that boar. Of course, there's a Brutal Guardian Lair in Osami. We will deal with that. Sappers in, Nano Cost Center being built. All of that boating well for us. Enemy in our territory. Ooh. No, we don't like you, but... There's a couple of you around as well. Let's hit those first. Looks like you're running for the hills. Okay. Let's hit the envious elderling then. Because I don't like making those hang around at all. Okay. 
Okay, there's a plague swarm here that's almost dead. That's actually a really good opportunity. Potentially, but there's enough going on in this system. Yeah, let's just, we really have to focus on this envious. Okay, there we go. Brutal Guardian Lair has fired, but in here, we should soon be able to clean up the rest of the mess, and there is no wormhole borer anymore. Okay. Back we go. And everything appears to be hunky-dory in here. We have enough resources, no real point in hitting more of the distribution nodes, in my opinion. Just adds more AI progress for something that we can get for free. Okay, some definite friends in here. Yeah, let's see if we can knock out this Envious, or is it going to leave? Nope, it's not leaving. Excellent. And what are you? You're another Envious. How wonderful. Where are you going? Trying to drive us in a different direction, I think. Okay, this is a... That's our Guardian. Now, did that jump, or did we get it? No, it jumped. I want to knock this out. They go down much quicker now than they did earlier, but also the mummy is always nice to have. And then, yeah, you worry about that, elderly. We have, there's another envious. Good grief. It's only Mark IV, but still. And we'll just keep chopping them down, I guess. Definitely going to swell our essence supply. Clear out the rest. Okay. This layer can go down as well. And I think we're done here. Looks like an elderly made it through into Netsuki. The decadent. Looks like we probably have enough force in there to wear that down. Now the question is, where do we go next? Oh, some Templar coming through. We were warned about a wave. We'll just smack them aside. But I think I want to break into here, knock out any custodians that might be in there, castle. Just continue clearing. I want to methodically work my way towards the homeworld. Looks like we have enough of you here. Now there's a lair next to this planet, so we could end up triggering that. But that's a risk that I think is worth it. Okay. Praetorian Guard is going to make their presence felt. 
smash them aside for a while. How are we doing in terms of custodians? All right, only one enclave in here. So we're not worried about that. Mass driver, you can go down. And it looks like this will be another planet that is relatively easily cleared. Sniper array or missile battery, whichever one that was. Is there anything we want to upgrade? I think I'll go with more vengeful whites. That pretty much wipes us out there. Our hacking and science at this point is going to be going mostly, I think, to just doing some flagship transformations. But I'm not in a big hurry to do that just yet. We've got three minutes yet until that goes off, and I think we'll be out of here by then. There we go. Everybody load up. And, whoa, that doesn't look good. What's going on there? Do we need help? It would appear that we do. Rather large wave has hit a scooter. Okay, we can we could take a moment. We can run back there and solve that problem before we resume this attack. Our planets have been doing fine for the most part, but it would appear that's not the case there. And of course, just lots of activity as we head on our way. And here we go. Yep, just crippled it as we arrived. We've got a surprise for all of you though. And okay, now we have some nanocosts that are coming in, about the same time as we are. Got some fun guardians here, at least, that should replenish our white supply. Yeah, I think that's actually going to be to our benefit because it helped us build up ships. Funny how that works. And let's just make sure we get this shipyard back up and running. It would appear that it's doing fine now. Okay. Yeah, spawn more exo units all you want. We're doing fine. So back we go to what we were trying to do. And the homeworld clearly is on Honeyman. I want to set up, it's the right distance in terms of hops. I want to set up on the bear here, another necropolis. And then at that point, we will have a base from which to strike this, strike at the other bastions, etc. But of course, we've got to get in there first. And Looks like they have some elderlings waiting for us in Sutra. 
So apparently there's just a little bit more clearing yet to be done. Okay, we've got a couple of plague swarms here. A few custodians, but they're leaving. Looks like you're just trying to leave. Let's just get rid of you, first of all. Okay. Another nether drake. Well, this would be a good one to hack. We can do that before it's destroyed. I want to eliminate... Yep, they're all coming in here to lay eggs. Which we're also going to smash. Okay, I'm going to hack this one. Now, it's worth noting they've added an AI progress cost to killing the sacrificial elderlings. It's not on the transform hack itself, but it's on killing the elderling. So, I'm still going to want to show the high-end transforms, though. So, let's go ahead and do this. And then smash it. not going to hold up long against our horde regardless. There we go. Alright. Let's move out. Take our next step on the journey. And we have another elderly because of course we do. A couple of them. But they're going down pretty fast. And okay. That's a blasphemous one. That's another one we don't have yet. Why not? Alright, so now we have lots of options to choose from for higher end transformations. Let's drop into Arc. Our next target. Now notice this lair. This is not a Brutal Guardian lair. It's a Ninesel nest on the nearby Bastion world. So approaching Ninesel Bastions lets their nests just throw out attacks at us, but we don't really care about that right now because we'll just smash them as they come. And this is looking quite one-sided. We're going to bring everyone in. And is that another Blasphemous? It is. But they're starting to get younger in terms of their mark level. I think we're just eliminating them faster now after they are hatched. There are some custodians in here, but not enough to be concerned with. And there's another hive. I'm no longer worried about the custodians. I think that we have done enough to smash them. And just chop down the rest of these guard posts. Okay. Let's get set up here. It's time to hop into our first Bastion world and see how well we handle that. We've lost some of those whites we had gathered up, but we're still doing pretty well. Well, we definitely have some friends waiting for us. That's for sure. 
Hmm. First dire guard post goes down, and they appear to be running now. Big shocker there. Let's get rid of this to Thwita. like you're going to run. I'm going to go ahead and let you. Well, hold on. Envious. I don't want you to run. It's only Mark 1, so we should be able to knock it out quickly. There we go. Lair on unknown planet. Well, the only unknown planet next to us is Honeyman, so it's got to be there. Okay. Well, I think we're ready to take this over and set up what I'm going to call our staging area for smacking this enthusiast AI once and for good. Pretty big planet here. There we go. Upon her world, you have found your box. What will you do? And we've got some stealth to eliminate. We'll just plant our necropolis in the middle. I don't particularly care where it is. And I want to level this up. All the way. And then let's go ahead and do the usual. Shipyard. Couple mages. Get that protect totem up. Couple of gas. Now let's also make sure it's supporting the right fleet, which it's not. We will switch it over to the support fleet. So that we're spreading things out reasonably. And rogue. And possessed white. And vengeful. And that's all of our available options. So once all of that gets built, our ship will be that much stronger. And we should be ready then to crack this. Honeyman is indeed the homeworld, but of course we've got to eliminate the Bastions, and there's Constructor there, okay? Lots of fun things awaiting us when we return, but we finally got through the Diamond Custodians, and I feel that that is pretty much going to be the hardest thing we have to do the rest of the way. Going to do some more of those upgraded flagship transforms as well, and boost ourselves as much as we can when we return. Thanks for watching, everybody. AI War 2 Necromancer, nearing the end.